Ladies and gentlemen, Meine sehr verehrten Damen und Herren, welcome herzlich willkommen to the inaugural concert of the German Forum's new concert series Songs from Afar. Gesänge aus der Ferne. My name is Raphael Fusco. Und mein Name ist Eva Maria Sommerer. And we've prepared an hour-long performance for you today of my original vocal works and pieces for piano, including a never-before-heard world premiere especially commissioned for this occasion by the German Forum. We are honored to bring this specially curated program to you from Graz, Austria. The first song on our program, Singe die Gärten, mein Herz, is set to a text by German 20th century poet Rainer Maria Rilke from his collection of poetry, Sonette an Orpheus. This was actually one of the first songs that Raphael had ever written for me when we first met in 2015. At the time, I was in New York to give my German Forum debut at Bruno Walter Auditorium, where I sang songs and arias by Strauss, Brahms, and Mozart with the wonderful Babette Hierholzer at the piano. The poem Singe die Gärten mein Herz is essentially a praise of life itself. Every single moment of our existence is to be treasured, whether it is a joyous moment, depicted in the poem with exotic gardens of a far off land that we've never seen, or moments of sorrow and pain. The silk thread of our own individual life is woven into the glorious tapestry of the universe and thus connecting us all. Here is for you, Singe die Gärten, mein Herz. The next work on the program is a world premiere of a new song cycle commissioned by the German Forum, entitled Quarantine Camp. When the German Forum reached out last June to commission a new work for voice and piano inspired by life during the pandemic, I knew immediately whom I wanted to ask to write the poetry. The award-winning American poet Ryan Vine and I had already collaborated 10 years earlier on a work called Unsolicited Advice, which was premiered in Carnegie Hall. Ryan's work creates vivid imagery and cuts directly to the heart with very few words. With these sparse textures, it really lends itself to music. We will alternate now between readings of Ryan coming to you from Duluth, Minnesota, of his poetry, and then performances of the musical setting. The song cycle captures in music themes that we've all experienced during these challenging times of the pandemic. 
loneliness of isolation, anxiety of not having enough time and too much time, insecurity, fear, and through it all, it's a struggle to maintain hope. And now for you, the world premiere of Quarantine Camp. The Economist. Time is our most precious resource, he said from the light of center stage. So we took his air. There, we said, you have two minutes, maybe three. Spend it wisely. Quarantine Rex. My mind is still white hot, but sunk so far back inside the cave that my face has become a glowing hole. I stand like a lamp in the hallway. I am my reading light at night.
Memento Mori. When I said you will die, I misspoke. What I meant is you will live. I'm sorry for the mistake. I hope it's kept you awake. Quarantine Camp A crow cuts dusk with the sound of a sweeping broom. In the bay below, boats plow moonlit ripples like widening rows of corn. The bonfire sounds like a long linen sheet, endlessly unfurling. The dogs fast pant, a handsaw having a log. I lift the binoculars, and the moon is two white pupils on my eyes.
Now I'd like to return to some of my solo piano works written during much simpler times. I've always loved Baroque music and have played harpsichord and organ, and it was only a matter of time, really, until Baroque sound started to rub off on my own compositions. The next pieces on the program are from a suite of harpsichord pieces called Nouvelle Pièce de Clavecin, new pieces for harpsichord. Um, there's two movements. One is Labyrinth, which describes trying to escape the minotaur in a maze, in a puzzle that keeps going looping around and zigzagging until we finally make our way out. And the final piece of the suite is a fugue on the theme from the American TV show, 30 Rock.
in the 16th to 18th centuries, it was common for musicians to improvise on so-called ground basses, which were bass lines that kept repeating and repeating. The next work on the program, On Solid Ground, is a set of three original bass lines that I one night just started improvising on, recorded it, really liked what came out, and then I wrote it down. So three movements, A Link to the Past, Daydream, and Chacon.
The next piece on the program is a special improvisation that I'm going to make up here on the spot. It is inspired by the birth date, favorite color, and favorite composer of the president of the German Forum, Barbara Hemming. Let me explain first how this is going to work. So every key corresponds to a color. For example, red would be C major. Yellow would be E major. It's brighter. Uh, blue would be F major. Green, G major, etc. And every key has scale degrees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And those correspond to numbers. So Barbara Hemming is born on November 20th, which is 1120. And her favorite color is red. So we'll start in C. And 1120 is 112. Her favorite composer is Beethoven. So maybe instead of C major, we'll start in C minor. And since Beethoven was a classical composer, um, sonata forms were very common. So I will improvise a sonata in the style of Beethoven on the numbers 1, 1, 2. And let's see what happens.
The next piece on the program is a long distance collaboration with Nicholas Tamania. It's a setting of Mary Oliver's poem, I Worried. I wrote the poem, sent it to Nicholas with a recording of the piano accompaniment, and he recorded himself singing on top of it. This is I Worried. <laughs> The next piece on the program is also a long distance collaboration with singers from all over the world. There are two movements from an American Requiem, the Domine Jesu and the last movement, in Paradisum. Boy, Jesus Christ, King of glory, King of glory, King of glory, Jesus Christ, King of glory, King of glory, Lord Jesus Christ, King of glory, King of glory, Lord Jesus Christ. Deliver the souls of all the faithful departed. Deliver the souls of all the faithful departed from the pains of hell and the bottomless pit. Deliver the souls of all the faithful departed from the pains of hell, from the pains of hell, deliver them, Lord, from the bottomless pit. Yeah. 
deliver them from the jaws of the lion. Deliver them from the jaws of the lion. Lest hell engulf them. Lest hell engulf them. Lest hell engulf them. Lest they be plunged into darkness. But let the holy standard bearer Michael, Michael, lead them to the holy light as once promised to Abraham. And he said, Lord, in praise we offer sacrifice and prayer. Accept them on behalf of those who we remember this day. Lord, make them pass from death to life as once promised. To Abraham, as once promised, to Abraham, as once promised to Abraham and his
As we begin to bring tonight's performance to a close, I'd like to welcome back my beautiful wife, Eva Maria Zumara, and we'll bring this concert to a close with a selection from a song cycle called Racconti, or Tales, by the Italian poet Antonio Cozzitorto, E Sera. E Sera is a nocturne for mezzo-soprano and piano. It describes confronting our fears and the hope we should never abandon. Before our final musical send-off, I'd like to thank one more time the German Forum for this opportunity to transcend social distance and bring live music to you in the house. I'd also like to thank all of the wonderful artists who have participated in today's program. Mezzo-soprano Eva Maria Zumara, Stanley Jackson, Anna Sutyagina, and Nicholas Tamania. The final piece that I'm going to perform for you is a setting of uh, one of my favorite church hymns. It's a song about healing, which in these times are more important than ever. Breathe on me, breath of God. 